Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Before we start talking to Core Power, I thought I'd tell you who won. Kevin Zelichowski, this is yours. Good job of getting the email in really quick. You get that beautiful AVEX mug. It's going to fit, I think, nicely in your car on the commute to work. So there you go. It's all yours. I'm setting it right here for you. All right. Well, I am so pleased to have on the show from Core Power, we've got, of course, Olympian Emily Cook, who is... Uh, Good morning. Oh, just so happy to see you here. Thanks. It's been a while since, guys, since we had a chance to talk to you, so mm -hmm. I can't wait. And then uh, we also have Nick Ermarth, who is here from Core Power. Welcome Absolutely. to the show. Thank you. Pleasure, Pleasure to be to here. Pleasure to have you both here. Uh, I first and foremost have to have to hear about Russia. I have to hear about your plans, what you've been doing. So tell me what's going on in Emily Cook's world. Absolutely. So uh, Russia was amazing, of course. Um, yeah. Anytime you get a chance to be an Olympian representing your country on the world's biggest stage is just the hugest honor. So um, it was so much fun. I loved being in Sochi, and yeah. I'm especially happy to be home now. Life's a little bit different than it was a couple months ago. Yeah. I've retired from competitive sport. It's hard, um, to, it's hard to hear. I know. It hurts. <laughs> What's well, been? It was my 16th year on the national team, so really? it's been a really long time. 16 years. Yeah. Would yeah. you start when you were what 10? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Not 10, but you guys can do the math. Wow. <laughs> so I've been around for a around. long time, and uh, now I'm just excited to kind of pass the torch. Our um, our team is great. We have a lot of young athletes coming up who show a lot of potential, and I think Korea is going to be great for them. So they're Indeed. spending the next couple of years training and getting ready. Oh, I bet they're excited about Korea. Are you going to go along and, and coach over there, do you think? Probably not coach. I'm kind of I'm going down a little bit of a different yeah. uh, pathway right now. So I'm, I'm working for Skull Candy, which is so much fun, yeah. and uh, working on um, kind of their sport and human potential type thing. So taking music and trying to find out the best way to have that have people be as successful as possible. So from your um, Olympic athlete, I always had headphones in my in my head when I was out on right. the hill competing, um, all the way down to you know the the differences that we're seeing with uh, patients with Alzheimer's through music therapy, oh, uh, really great. specific things. So really having them come alive and and you know kind of have their version of high performance, which is really cool. So Let's doing see. that, doing a lot of rec sports, uh, playing yeah, as much as possible. A ton, yeah. yeah, playing a bit of soccer with Nick. So yeah, we've this been having a great, great time. Well, I don't think we can attribute uh, youth to core power uh, properly and not get in trouble with the FDA. But <laughs> I have to say, you look great for doing it for 16 years. I Thank can't you. believe that. Uh, but clearly, getting out and continuing, uh, you know, finding lots of lifetime sports, yeah, pretty important in your yeah, life. Yeah, it's and super fun. When you do that, you want to make sure that you're doing it healthy, right? That's yes, the whole point. absolutely. And you know, yep. uh, once again, like from the the recreational athlete, which I am now, to the Olympic athlete, um, definitely having core power in my life has made a huge difference as well. Well, tell me a little bit about that. So I, I've seen core power in the stores, uh, and I've you know I've I've seen some of the competitors as well. I've tried mm -hmm. both. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I had the chocolate this morning, which is uh, pretty good stuff. What is Core Power all about? And whichever one of you wants to feel this, kind of give me an idea of uh, what we get when we're drinking Core Power. Yeah, yeah. So basically, Core Power is a natural milk based protein recovery shake, um, but it's soy, gluten, and lactose free. So we want to take the natural protein, vitamins, and minerals from milk, but we want to create a recovery shake that everyone can drink. So if you're lactose okay. intolerant, you can't drink milk, you can drink Core Power because it's uh, lactose free. Yeah, a lot of people have a challenge with that. Exactly, and you know, after you work out, after you exercise, I'm sure Emily knows, you don't want to be you know, downing some chalky, preservative filled protein shake. Right. You mm -hmm. want something more natural, you want something smoother. So we just take uh, milk based protein and add a little honey and sugar and we come up with a better tasting, smoother protein shake. Wow, yeah. and how long has Core Power been on the market now? been on the market about a year and a half, okay. um, so relatively new, but we, uh, you know, we're, we're hitting our stride and, and we're really hitting some major sponsorship opportunities, um, obviously with the Sochi Winter Games and Emily, FIFA World Cup um, right. in Brazil, and we just finished up with the Tour of Utah, uh, which I know we were there on Main Street in Park City. Being a former athlete, the one thing I can tell you that I know, and I know Emily's mm -hmm. going to agree with me on this, is that it's not about, you never look as an athlete at well, what things would I want to be sponsored by. It's what things will I actually use yep. that I can feel good about talking about because it's, you know, you want to win, right? Totally. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. So tell me about your, you know, how you came to find Core Power yeah. and how you guys became aligned. Well, I think the biggest thing is that um, 
you know, the the range of people that are athletes is so large. So myself, right. you know, when I was young and an athlete, it was a lot different than when I was older and an athlete. But one <laughs> of the biggest things that's been so important to me as an athlete the whole way through is recovery. And uh, you know, as an 18-year-old athlete, and also as you know, last year going to the to the Olympics, a 34-year-old athlete, recovery was really key, and nutrition is really important to that. But for me, after I finished a really hard workout, I always found it really hard to refuel. And uh, to have something that tastes good and is easy to eat is so important. So, you know, for me, the other thing that's really important is um, having things that are healthy, all natural, and uh, good for the world as well. So this is a product that, for me, fit really easily, and that I was not only excited to um, to drink after a world after a World Cup yeah. or after training, but also to represent as well. Yeah, that's an important part of it, I think, for sure. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'd say that's the key, really. Yeah. So tell me how you feel or felt after, uh, you know, especially after an mm -hmm. Olympic workout. Yeah. Uh, I know if you're like me, uh, then, the, you know, kind of it's almost, you don't want to eat anything. Really. No, not but at all. But you know all. you need to. Yeah, right? absolutely. So, yeah, tell me what, uh, you know, kind of the process mm -hmm. of what you go through is, 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 you know, at the end of your workout. So the days are pretty long as an athlete. I would say fairly standard it would be a 12-hour day. Yeah. So, you know, I would go up and do some jumps, um, you know, end up at the end of the day somewhere around 6 o'clock finishing my workout at the gym out at the Center of Excellence. Mm -hmm. and. The thing that would happen right after that would be a series of um, physical therapy, kind of spinning out on the bike uh, and getting right. in the cold tub. And there's a key amount of time when you are supposed to refuel your body after a workout. Yeah. It's usually about 20 minutes. And when you still have so much stuff to do, I mean, that's got to happen really quickly. I'm not going to get to dinner for another hour and a half or so. Right. So for me to be able to just drink a core power while I'm either sitting in the cold tub or doing physical therapy, something like that was really easy and uh, also just kind of made my day a little bit better. Well, you know, you mentioned with the age, I mean, it, yeah. you certainly don't look 36, there's Thank no you. doubt. <laughs> 35. But, yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> hey. So uh, the thing that I, I think is key, too, though, is, as you mentioned, you were kind of, you're, you're sort of re-energizing everything, right? You're yep. in the cool tub, yep. you're getting the muscles taken care mm -hmm. of. That's the outside, right? That's yep. that, 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 you know, the, the, the quick hit the pain, right? Yeah. But the long term, get the pain so that you feel good when it comes around time for dinner and you can actually yeah. have a meal, right? Right. That's what I thought is all about when it comes to uh, re-energizing. That's what yeah. it is for me. I'm assuming mm -hmm. you feel the same about that. Absolutely. I mean, having having a couple of good meals a day is really important. I usually had right. more than three good meals a day um, when I was in, in full training, but, uh, but the immediate refueling is really important as well. So for me, that was generally when the core power would come in. And now it's the same, you know, it's, um, you know, I'm playing soccer last night and it's, uh, let's see, we played from six to seven yeah. and I knew I wasn't going to get home to dinner for a little while, but I still had to feel good today so I could go to work and, um, you know, have the rest of my fun. So, mm -hmm. you know, for me, I'll down a core power out there as well, just not as an Olympic athlete, but as a recreational athlete as well. It's super important. Well, we have just a moment or two left. So, Nick, tell me, uh, we've got a lot of different flavors here. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of different uh, levels of, uh, of uh, fat content and yep. things like that. So tell me quickly about the products. Yeah, so we have five different flavors. Um, we have our strawberry banana, which is a light flavor. Uh, we have a regular chocolate, regular vanilla, a light chocolate, and a regular banana. So the, all the regular flavors, um, okay. they will have 26 grams of protein, 26 grams of carbs, and 26 grams of sugar. Um, 240 calories. Our light flavors will have 150 calories, so less, um, less okay. sugar, and 20 grams of protein instead of the 26. And, and we do want to emphasize that we make a product for, for every athlete, whether you're an Olympic caliber athlete or a recreational athlete. I love to have them after a mountain bike ride, after playing soccer with Emily, because I definitely yeah. need it. Yeah, you need it when you're doing yeah. that. Where do we find it? You can okay. find it uh, here in, in Utah, Smith's, 7-Eleven, Chevron Soap. I mean, we're in every store. You can get it everywhere, so yeah. even when you're on the road. Exactly. All right, coming home from that workout. So it's core power. You heard it's pretty good stuff. Emily says so, and I believe her. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. We'll be back with more right after this. We're going to our next hour after this quick commercial break. More prizes as well, so stay tuned.